Hello beautiful strangers and welcome to Cat React. I'm Cat and I react to mostly 80s and 90s films. If that is something that interests you then why don't you subscribe? You can also click that like button down below that helps this channel out. Today I'll be reacting to a film called Liar Liars from 1993 and it stars Jim Carrey and that is all I know about it. I think I've seen it before when I was young or something like that. I have a memory of him going berserk at a public toilet, I think. But liar Liar tells me that he's a liar or there's someone is a liar. At least there is a liar in this film, I presume. I, I am actually excited to check it out. This was recommended by one of you guys. So um, yeah, if you want to join me on the journey of discovering what this film is all about, then great, hop on and let's go. Mr. Reed, do you have a moment? I'm sorry, I'm very late. It's my day to be with my son. My arm has really been bothering me. <laughs> oh, no, Dad. Oh, yeah. It's becoming a claw! Ah! <laughs> well, he seems like a loving father. So, did you have any trouble finding the place? Okay, I'm late. I'm sorry. I ran out of gas. Jerry, how's it going? Hey, Gipper! Look at you. You look like you grow by the minute. Hi, honey. Hi. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so we have a different family dynamic here. Did not expect that, but okay. Families come in all shapes and sizes. Not here to judge. Remember, I told you a few weeks ago, Jerry's moving to Boston on Friday. Oh, right, the job. I will represent Mrs. Cole aggressively and ethically. But Miranda, I won't lie. Then we'll just have to find someone who will. Hi, Mr. Reed! Oh, whoa! Hey! Oh, wow, hello, lady. Who the hell electrocuted you? You should fire that person who did this to you. My God, I hope that person is in jail. It's my birthday tomorrow, and we're having a party and everything. Wow! Oh. I am sure that your daddy has got you something wonderful. Yeah? Yeah, you bet! <laughs> you are a saint. I should buy you a gift. You did. And your mother called. I'm on vacation. Does he tell the truth ever? You're not busy tonight, are you? Well, he is supposed to be spending time with his son, but I guess he's not busy at all. No, no, no. Will you marry me? Oh, I'm moving to Boston, but I want you and Max to come with me. I bought you a present. He's so cute. This kid is way too cute for this film. Baseball stuff! Baseball stuff! Oh, can we play that? Can we play? Absolutely! Yay! <laughs> right after your party tonight, we'll do it. Poor guy. My heart breaks for him. You're the victim here. The wife of a cold, distant workaholic. Starved for affection. Driven into the arms of another man. Seven. Yeah, whatever. All you're insisting on is what is rightfully yours. Yeah. And maybe a fraction more. Wow, he's good. So he is a professional liar. Oh, you are good. Happy, 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 ah. happy, 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 happy. I don't know if I've told you guys, but I don't like clowns. Whoever invented the concept of clown needs to be rotting in hell right now. Audrey? Fletcher! Fletcher, where are you? We're waiting for you. Max won't cut the cake until you get here. I just can't make it. The boss is, uh, really riding me. I'll pick him up from school tomorrow, okay? You're gonna pick him up? Yes, yes! He said he was gonna be here. He promised. I know. Make a wish. I wish that for only one day Dad couldn't tell a lie. Incredible. Is it good for you? <laughs> I've had better. The kids wish worked. I've had better. Oh shoot! I forgot he has the case. Well, okay. Maybe this is karma doing her job. He should have treated his son better. His son's a cutie. All right, Samantha. How much will it take to put an end to all this? 50% hmm? of your estate. 50%? Uh, With a prenup and proof of adultery? What's your case? Our case is simply this. How are we doing this morning, Consul? Fine, thank you. And you, Mr. Reed? I'm a little upset about a bad sexual episode I had last night. Uh, what do you say we get down to business? Yeah, that sounds good. So he cannot, like, stop himself? You run around it like a continuance! <sighs> This case has already been delayed several times. What's the problem? I can't lie! My client has already offered Mrs. Cole $2.4 million, 
But Mr. Reed has made it abundantly clear that he has no desire... Shut up! With the story you came up with, I don't think we can lose. He's still offering you, like, $2.4 million, lady? How much more do you need? Do we have a settlement? No! The color of this pen is... <laughs> This dude has had more episodes than The Simpsons in the first 20 minutes of this film. <laughs> ah, no! Boss, what happened? The pen is blue. The pen is blue! Oh my god, yeah, I would be so scared right now. Mr. Reed, are you alright? Does he look alright to you? Fletcher, hi. Are you still picking Max up from school today? Here's the thing. I really can't. Is Dad still picking me up? No, Max, he's not. I guess my wish didn't come true. What wish? I wish that for just one day Dad couldn't tell a lie. Max and I are moving to Boston. What? Jerry has asked me to marry him, and Max and I are going with him this weekend to look at some houses. You can't move to Boston. I'll never see Max. You never see him anyway. This is not fair. Fair? Last night, a five-year-old boy was crushed because his father lied to him about coming to his birthday. Everything you do matters to Max and everything you don't do. All right, now let me tell you something. I'm a bad father! Wow, and that was not a lie. You are. Give me one more chance. Give me a chance to be the father I started out to be. Do you know what your son was doing at 8.15 last night? He was making a birthday wish that for just one day, his father couldn't tell a lie. Oh my God, that's it. Your mommy told me about that wish you made last night. It came true, Max. Really? I need you to take back that wish. Sometimes, grown-ups need to lie. <laughs> yeah, but you lie all the time. It's become your default language. That's not good. No one can survive in the adult world if they have to stick to the truth. I have to lie. Everybody lies. Mommy lies. Even the wonderful Jerry lies. But you're the only one that makes me feel bad. Oh. Max, recess is over. My son hates me. Max loves you. Last night at his birthday party, he made a wish that I wouldn't be able to lie for one whole day. It came true. What are you saying? That you are incapable of lying? Ask me something you think I would normally lie about. All right. Remember a couple of months ago when I wanted a raise? Forget oh. it. I don't want to do this. Greta! Don't leave! Of course she's leaving. You've been treating her like trash. Are we ready to begin? Your Honor, would the court be willing to grant me a short bathroom break? Okay, now I'm getting some flashback memory. I think this is what I recall. How am I going to get out of this? Good question. <laughs> What is he doing? Hey. What the hell are you doing? I'm kicking my ass! Do you mind? I found him like this in the bathroom, Your Honor. Somebody beat the hell out of him. Who did this? A madman, Your Honor! Have the deputy search the building. Yes, sir. Under the circumstances, I have no choice but to recess this case until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Mr. Reed. Mr. Reed. My lawyer, he's a what in the Johnny Bravo hell is this? The man is a bouffant. Isn't it true that your relationship with my client is entirely platonic? I object, Your Honor! To yourself? Yeah, to yourself? Yeah. Mr. Reed, I don't know what you're on, but you better get to the point and quick. If you believe the man is on something, why are you having him there in the court in the first place? I want my money! I am not going to end up... He offered you $2.4 million, lady. That should be enough. Up a 31-year-old divorcee on welfare because my scumbag attorney had a sudden attack of conscience. 31. I call Samantha Cole to the stand. What am I missing here? Mr. Reed, it is out of sheer morbid curiosity. I'm allowing this freak show to continue. Is this a copy of your driver's license? Yes. And it says here you were born in 1964, but that's not true either, is it? Is it? No. Can you tell me what it says here on your birth certificate under date of birth? 1965. That would mean that you lied about your age to make yourself older. I changed it so I could get married. And the 
throat shall set you free. She was only 17 when she got married, which makes her a minor. And in the great state of California, no minor can enter into any legal contract without parental consent, including prenuptial agreements. Prenuptial agreements! This contract is void. Standard community property applies, and she is entitled to half of the marital assets, or $11.395 million. Wow, that was some good observation. In light of this new evidence, the court must rule in favor of Mrs. Cole. She is hereby yes. awarded half the marital assets. I understand both parties have agreed to joint custody, is that correct? No! I'm contesting custody. What? If I get sole custody of the kids, that's another ten grand in child support payments. Lady! You can't take his kids away. You said he was a good father. So? Daddy! You stop that whining or I'll give you something to whine about! I wanna go with Daddy! Come on. All right, don't you worry. Oh my god, I hope he wins full custody. I hope he gets the kids. Jesus. Will you give me those? They're mine. They go the They're his as well, you greedy, selfish cow. God damn it. This is just wrong, isn't it? Young man, having my judgment mocked in my own court is not something I'm prepared to tolerate. One more word out of you, Mr. Reed. And I'll hold you in contempt. I hold myself in contempt! This man is a good father, and children are not leveraged! Hello? Audrey, it's me. For the love of God, don't hang up. I can't talk to you right now. Our flight leaves at 8 o'clock. What? I am taking Max someplace where you can't do this to him anymore. You made bail. Greta! Greta? Why on earth would she bail him out? How did you know I was here? One of the other secretaries called me at home, said you went all noble in front of Mr. Allen. Yeah, I think I'm fired. Isn't that great? Maybe I'll start my own firm. You need a job? I don't think you can afford me. <laughs> <laughs> he got Greta back. Oh, watch yourself. It's the claw. <laughs> oh, the claw's coming at you. Dude, you can't take something that he and his father have. Make up your own. It's okay. You don't have to. Tower Air, flight 1511 to Boston is now boarding. Well, this would never work, but oh my god. I love you. Thank you. Lady, you agreed to marry this man and you can't say you love him? Too fast. It was too fast, wasn't it? No. Too fast? You already asked her to marry you? Oh my oh. god, it's Fletcher. No, no, this has nothing no, to no, do no, with Fletcher. It's Fletcher. What? <gasps> Dad? I won't let you go! First of all, this thing is not supposed to go faster than a plane. Just putting it out there. What was that? Looks like a shoe. Throw this thing over! Control 1-9, some idiot has hijacked a flight of stairs. We're gonna stop this plane. 1-9, control, we got it. Fletcher, what were you doing? Are you out of your mind? No. I'm thinking clear. I'm a dope, Max. All this time you've been here, and I could see any time I felt like it, but I didn't. And your mom told me you were moving to Boston, and I started thinking. What? All right, he's an idiot, but you have to forgive him for this. I love you more than anything else in the world, Max. And you know it's true. And I'll never hurt you again. Mom, do we have to go to Boston? No, Max, you don't have to go. Max, make a wish. Damn, I want a cake. I'm such a pig. Every time I see some food in films or TV, I want it. Oh. Did you wish for your mom and I to get back together again? No. I was from rollerblades. Oh. I have this horrible pain in my arm. Oh, no, it's the no, claw! No one can stop the claw! <laughs> Okay, let's talk about it. Okay, that was me watching Liar Liar. 
it was a great film. It was a sweet film. I mean, it, it was a film that sort of teaches you the value of family, the value of love. And I mean, you know, you shouldn't put anything above your family and friends. That's just the fact. That's the only thing that matters in this world. There's family and friends. Everything else is just a side thing. So it was a, it was a sweet film that reminded you of that fact. And Jim Carrey, obviously, is one of a kind. Nobody does physical comedy like Jim Carrey. That's just... The dude is just a genius. He... Like, many comedians that I watch, they all have their unique style, their different techniques. I mean, one becomes famous for something, the other becomes famous for something else. Jim Carrey, without a shadow of a doubt, is the king of physical comedy. Facial features and everything. I always enjoy watching him perform. It's just, and he also, he's a comedian as well. He can do drama as well. So he's just, he's mm, top notch. And this film was, it was good. Cute kid, everything. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I put out new videos five days a week. I'll see you in the next video.